nearing the three-minute mark of the first period. And Messier is cruising in on the puck. He's getting in there. Oh, and a big save by Thibault. Herbeek was in front of the net, and Messier was in. And after it. Back of the net. Young to the corner. Had to leave it there for Ricci. He tried to come out. Now Young, sharp angle, coming to the net. Wanted to shoot it. Gets it again, took it on the backhand. Had to hurry the pass. Centered! Ricci scores! Ricci was right in front of the net. And it's a power play goal for sure. The Nordiques do get the first goal. Perfect play, power play setup. In front to Ricci, and he has two cracks. He doesn't waste his time. He stands in, he takes the hit. And he beats Mike Richter. Perfect backhand pass down low to Ricci. And Ricci knows he's going to get punished. He takes the first shot and he hangs in. He's hit by Graves, still able to bang it by Mike Richter. 4.53, the time of the goal by Mike Ricci. And it's not a power play goal, but. On top of the Rangers. Here in game five, Leach and Messier. He takes a bump. Gets loose again. Thibault, juggle that. Nearly went behind him. Back to the line is Ubov. Messier on the puck. Messier again. And he's rubbed out again along the boards. Stays on his feet, though. Gets the puck loose. Big Louis group is on him now. And the captain goes down on the puck. Gets back up. Fighting hard is Mark Messier, number 11. Here he is again, back to Zubov, shooting! That's blocked, loose puck in front of Tebow. Messier scores! What a shift by Mark Messier, and he ties the game. You know, I'll tell you what this goal does, it wipes out a big argument. Messier thought the puck was in when Tebow juggled it. And he, he raised his arms and he went after the referee, the play kept going, Messier scores, doesn't matter. What a play by Adam Graves and Leach in front. Graves and Leach tie everybody up, and the puck goes to Mark Messier. He has no problems. Three Nordiques go to Leach and Graves. Pat Verbeek is there. And the Nordiques take a man, and Mark Messier is wide open and doesn't miss an empty net. Well, he was knocked down in the corner, got back up, and was knocked down a second time, and then charges the net from the scramble, as you say, John. And there's Thibault trying to get back up, but too late. It's tied. 1-1. Messier and the time of the goal, 6-51. That was stole. He can be intimidated if you hit him. He's behind the net. He makes the pass. And there's the finish check by Nick Kiprio. Good, solid shoulder. Forsberg again. Put it back of the net for Nolan to Forsberg. Passing it around. Forsberg coming for the net. Backing off again. In the slot. Sapnik. Here's the chance. Right in front, Kovalenko, and his shot is blocked by Karpatsev. Kevin Lowe on the ice. Nolan is a right-hand shot, has a chance, and Richter, that good. Bassett on the draw against Nedved of the Rangers. Harry Fraser puts the hand up at a foot, very aggressive, hits Nick Kiprios, good solid hit. And Alexei Kovalev was up. Oh, Sakic, Clark, and Kovalenko. behind the goal for New York. Lots of time to move it. Oh, he's checked and had to throw it to the blue line. Clark and shoot, scores! Wendell Clark with a patented Clark bullet shot. Wendell Clark's assist on the first goal was his first point of this series. And now he gets his first goal of this series. Short backswing, halfway up through the screen. Kevin Lowe was right in front of Mike Richter. And Clark picks the top corner, a perfect shot through the screen. And a good, quick, low backswing on that slapper. The red light did not go on. And now it looks like we're going to have a telephone call. And that's exactly what's happening with Fraser at the penalty bench. I don't think there's much doubt about this one. Good luck to you, Jeff. Thanks. Thanks. Guys. All right, let's go back on the attack. It's Simon around the net, coming out, scores! Simon makes it three to one, Quebec. Chris Simon, a 
couple of good hits early involved in this game. Looks like a goal scorer. Pulls it around and then just snaps it up and over Mike Richter. Jay Wells did not go for Simon. He looks around for someone in front and that gives Simon room. Jay Wells is there, but he's not there. And Simon brings it out and snaps it over Richter. A better look at it. Jay Wells is in front. He doesn't have anybody, so he's looking around. And Simon decides, well, I got lots of room. Let me bring it out in front. So Quebec takes a two-goal lead. What a play by Chris Simon. Back to Krupp. Back through the middle is Hungle Clark. Up over the line he goes, and here's Sackett shooting one to the corner. Scott Young centered it. Reaching knocked down in front of the net of the Rangers. Jump on it. Messier. To the goal line right in front. He waited for Verbeek, and then he just missed it. Verbeek can't get it out. Messier again. Center that score! Messier setting up Pat Verbeek the second time, and this time they score. Makes it 3 2. Another power play goal for the New York Rangers, and that's the only time really that they've had any good scoring chances is when they've had the man advantage. Graves fights off his check. Messier to Verbeek coming in on the forehand, and this time he doesn't miss it. The Nordiques go for the pass, and when you do that, it's all or nothing. Both of them miss it, Verbeek's wide open. Verbeek <laughs> tries to get it. Scott Young tried to get it, and Verbeek, perfect pass from Mark Messier. Once again, Messier doing most of the work inside the line, and we're in the final minute of the first period. Messier stealing it, coming in with a shot. Thibault doesn't know where it is, and I think it's at the side of the net when Thibault grabbed it. No red light came on. One of the Rangers thought it was over the line, but I don't think so. Thibault did not know where it was. That was obvious. Then it came back out in the crease. The Messier shot went right through Jocelyn Thibault, hit his stick and goes inside. It's off the stick and just misses. And that's why Thibault looks so confused. He thought that one might have gone in. Yeah. And then the pass out hits his pad. He thought the Messier shot might have gone in. It went through him, came out the other side, and then the pass out right on the post. Pass and soft pass through center. Decision is moving up. Rubbed out along the boards by Zubov. Sackick went in there, knocked the puck loose. Clark centered one. Sackick right in front of the net. He fanned on it. Comes back to Laukinen. He is moving in. Laukinen, back of the goal, trying to dump it in front, and Zubov stopped it. Detmarsh will be on it again. Foot shot, deflected in front of the net. Again, Laukinen, to foot, shoots. This time, Richter has all of it. And he holds on, but great pressure by Quebec. The fly. Going in and dropping it. Farmer had a chance. Young out of the box. He's up there and Sackett brings it in himself. He gets in the slot and he fanned on the shot. Got the rebound, but he was in too far and he lifted it high over the net. It was Clark. He's up to the line and over it. Hammers it off the boards and in deep. Reach takes it on the skate. Takes a hit from Lowell. 15 seconds left in the penalty. A chance for LaFave. Oh, a hard shot. Rebound, Young at the side of the net. Clark centered it. Ricci missed the goal on the backhand. Sackett was going off. And down for New York and Graves. Gets up over the line. The penalty has been served. After it. No place to go, so he just shot it away, and they try to make changes. With Zubov coming up quickly. Over left, foul right in front of the net. People mixed up. And another one. He got the rebound and held on to it. Edmund came close. That was a terrible change by the Quebec Nordique. In the second period, they've got the long change, and they get trapped. It's a three-on-two because they're making the line change. Kovalev does his job, gets it to Nedved. Nedved tries to beat Thibault, and again, Thibault stones Peter Nedved. Remember the goals that Nedved scored here in the 8-3 game, game two, and he threw backhands right up underneath the crossbar. Might have tried to do it there, didn't get the trailing by a goal, but appear to be very patient. Here they come now. Nedved dropped it, shot, great save, but here's Zubov. He's in close, and the pass comes into the crease area. Back again to Zubov, winding up. Shot way high on the glass, and Detmarsh will get the puck ahead. 
Intercepted at center again by Nedved. In with the drive. Ebo got a piece of that. The Rangers are going after the Nordiques now, but now Clark and Saki get together. Clark turned around. Saki had a wait at the line. Lautman and drives one right into Richter. Just got rid of it down the ice. And Nedved coming back. Sackett nailed him hard in the corner. Alkanen now from the point, the shot, deflected in front of the net. Oh, what a chance for Clark. Kovalenko can't center it. Clark had the open side, and the backhander missed by about six on the puck. Wells takes the shot, that's blocked, and Clark with one man back. It's Messier and Clark. Clark tried the shot, he did. And Richter was ready for him this time. The wrist shot by Clark was a hard one, going high, and Richter felt he was going to shoot it. Pretty far out as Mark Messier does a good job with the angle on Clark, cuts him off, forces that shot, and Mike. Time with Kovalev in behind him. Picked off by Leach. Look out. Leach shoots. Save by Thibault. And Chinov put it in front, and Thibault gloves that. Hangs on to it. Boy, I'll tell you, the big play in that sequence was Yanni Laukin. Hangs on to it. He loses a hip. Her beak there with him, and Adam Graves right in front of the goal. They come. Oh, and it's clear to the line and out. It got to the right of Tebow. Puck from him. Leach now. Sharp angle shot. Right in front. Murphy can't find it. And bad. Great pressure by New York now. A big crowd doing their death. Jocelyn Tebow here in the third period doing his job. Kelly Rudy would like that save. That looks like Kelly Rudy, the stick strong along the ice. And the Nordique in trouble and a fortunate timing of that commercial for Mark Crawford and the Nordique. They get a chance to regroup. Marsh giving a hard hit by Karpatsa. Simon comes in hitting. Dead Marsh gets the puck again and Leach hits him. At the line is LaFave, drills his shot. Into the goal post and it got in behind Richter but he got his hand down just before it was about to roll across the line. Takes the hit, makes the play and then tries to bank one in. And can't quite get the good care of to the ice. Adam Foot up the center. Huey Coop is the best partner. Shot right on. Good save. Here's Coop again with Nolan. He's turning every which way before shooting it. And Ricker saw it. That confident this year. Well, here's Verbeek stealing it, and a great save by T Bowl. Verbeek takes it in the corner, trying to dump it in front. Young can't find it. The Rangers are on top of it. Right in front again. What a chance for Verbeek again. And he missed on the short side. Now Messier is on it. Trying to pass it out once again. It's Young coming out with Bass in a two on one. Young and Richter got a piece of that. Rangers trying to win the series today in Quebec City. Needing a win to end the series. It is 218 left here, including number two of the series. We're in the final minute. Net empty. Oh, what a chance for Burbeek again. Couldn't quite make clean contact. Forsberg falling on it. The Rangers are on it, and Zuba takes a shot. That's knocked down. It's loose in the Quebec zone, and Burbeek toss it into the corner. Well, Annan trying to get a stick on it. Does. Goes the other way to Forsberg. He can't move it out very far. It's tossed on the glass to center. A chance for Young in the empty net. He's going to do it. Here we go. This series will go to New York. Seconds left. So 1927, the time of the empty net goal for two Quebec. Silva so Lafe makes a good play. He just chips it off the glass. That there's no way that would have been an icing. Nice little soft play, and it gives Young time to catch the puck. Play is back in the net for New York. There he is. Ten seconds left. Richter with one more save. Joey Koster picks it up. Four seconds left, the crowd standing, and the Nordics are still alive for game six on Tuesday in New York.
talk about the inexperience of this team. Well, they're gaining experience. They really came out. They played very well early in this game. And then the Rangers had them playing their style of game. But here in the third period, the Nordiques regained some of their pose. They hung on, hung on, hung on. And their young goaltender came through. Well, we shouldn't be surprised about the experience they're gaining. It's got to be emotional when 